guys welcome back to my channel and if you are stopping by for the first time welcome my name is Laifa I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me whatever questions and I will answer it in the video so this is basically an Instagram Q&A and I got a whole lot of questions but I don't know I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer every single one of them but we'll see how the video goes so number one question just has to be from my sister she said who is your best sibling i do not have a best sibling i love all my sisters equally someone else said when i come back to lagos i'm coming back this week god i'm so excited to come back to lagos like i've been away from lagos for almost three months like Jeez, I'm so excited to be coming back to Lagos. Are you ever going to quit being a makeup artist and just focus on YouTube? Guys, definitely I'm not going to be doing makeup for the rest of my life. If you're new to my channel, I'm actually a makeup artist. I do bridal, bandage shoots, whatever, any kind of makeup, I'm there, I'm your girl. But body no be firewood. Translation. I can't keep putting my body through this stress for the rest of my life in the nearest future i plan to stop doing makeup full time like maybe i'll be doing only bridals i don't know yet i honestly don't know yet but i feel like there will definitely come a time when i'm just going to have people working for me i'm not going to be doing makeup services i plan to have my own makeup line by god's grace and my own hairline by god's grace i would want my makeup line to outlive me for my children's children i like that's what i want my legacy to be i want my brand to be that brand i'll still be alive even when i die but for youtube or more i see myself being a youtuber until i'm old and gray like i'm going to be that old grandma with her king that is still doing youtube videos i don't plan to know youtube youtube oh youtube has my heart like youtube has a special place in my heart i'm never stopping youtube like ever <laughs> you're going to grab the camera out of my dying hands <laughs> would you trade in your tribal marks if you had a chance you know when i was younger i used to say oh my god when I grow up, when I have money, I'm going to go to surgery, I'm going to remove my tribal marks. You know, I actually used to say when I started my YouTube that I would do a video one day, like a story time, how I got my tribal marks, how it's been like growing up with my tribal marks. But I've never actually gotten around to do it and I get a lot of messages from people who have tribal marks. And I've never done it. I wonder how I've never done it. If you guys would like to see that, please let me know. But yeah, like I was saying, I got into a point where I've accepted my travel marks. Like, I have money now. I could do it if I wanted to. But what's the point, man? Like, I feel like it's who I am. Like, okay, for example, now let me give an instance. There are some of you that might have clicked on one or two of my videos because you saw my travel marks tell me the truth i know like it's it makes people curious like they want to see who's this who's this black girl with tribal marks so what's that mark on her face like people let this comment in my comment section what are those lines on your face like people are not even familiar with people having marks on their face so it's sort of my selling point somehow <laughs> so why on earth would i want to get rid of it i'm just comfortable with it honestly and the funny thing is when i was younger like before i went into secondary school that's like high school for those of you in the abroad <laughs> when i was younger i didn't used to notice my travel marks like i didn't even think it was a thing until i entered secondary school my goodness that's another story time that is actually going to be fun my secondary school experience in nigeria god the kids were mean like i pretty much blocked my secondary school memories from my head like when you ask me things that happened in secondary school, I most of the time I don't even remember people that I I went to school with, except we're very close. Like I only have like three close friends from secondary school: Bumi, Rona. Bumi, Rona, actually, that's pretty much like my closest friends from school. Like it's like I blanked out that whole period of my life because it was hell. Kids were so freaking me. Like they didn't make me feel like I was beautiful at all. I was dark and then I had travel marks, so they called me Black Mamba 911. Oh god, you name it. 
But funny thing, I now went into university and this girl that thought she was so ugly was now hot cake. Guys were just asking me out left, right, center. I was like, ah, I didn't ah, what's going on? I wasn't used to all that attention. But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is, I guess you have to grow to love yourself and I've grown to love myself and my tribal mark and I'm very very much okay with them I'm not they're not going anywhere basically that was the point of all this plenty talk <laughs> are you looking to expand internationally and what will your first country be so I am not looking to have like studios in other country if that's what you're asking well that's what you're asking but Definitely, when I have my makeup line, my hairline, I'm definitely going to want to be shipping internationally. Not that I would want to have a makeup studio in the US, in the UK, no. That's not what I want. How do you stay motivated? Guys, people seem to think I'm very consistent, I have so much motivation, ginger. But the truth is that, like every other person, there are days where I want to give up, I don't even have the motivation to film to even take clients but i just take breaks in between when i start to feel unmotivated and then i come back re-energized and i surround myself with friends and family like my friends and family like they're the best support system ever i have makeup artist friends influencer friends that they understand so like when i feel like we motivate each other like why support group for ourselves like someone like lydia stanley like i don't play with that girl my bestie Bumi. i don't play with her juliet Rona. like these friends are uh, friends that whenever i feel down or i feel like my makeup is beginning to suck <laughs> or whatever i just call them and we try to push each other what can we do to be better you know and i just i follow people that inspire me like most people i follow are people in my line of business that when i look at what they are doing i feel inspired so we all need a bit of inspiration once in a while there are some stupid questions here someone legend just asked me what's my favorite sex position really really <laughs> Who can guess in the comment section below what you think it is? If you get it right, I will say yes, you did. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. First, let me process my love. Second, how do you manage content creation and being a MUA? I love it too, Joyce. So guys, to be honest, it's not easy balancing being a makeup artist and a YouTuber. When you see me being very consistent with my YouTube, honestly, the truth is that my makeup side, I'm not giving it as much attention. And when you see me giving my makeup artist side so much attention, that means my YouTube is not getting as much attention. That's the honest truth. Like, I try so hard to balance it out, but I'm a human being. When you see me doing very well, well, on the YouTube front, on the makeup front, just know that I'm not taking care of myself. I don't have a social life. Like, there's no even food in my fridge. I haven't cooked in a while. I've been eating crap because, like, okay, for example, I go to work in the morning, I do makeup training, I do clients, and then I come back home and I have to film and edit. Like, that's my cycle. For example, like most videos you see me do, you hear me say, oh, it's 2 a.m., it's 3 a.m., let me see what time it's, okay, now it's 12 a.m. right now. You hear me say it's 4 a.m., it's 5 a.m. So I don't even sleep much. Like that's where my insomnia came from, from the fact that I'm not, I don't sleep. <laughs> Guys, people really need to support me because I'm a hard worker. I don't need anybody to tell me. I know I work freaking hard. Like, people tell me I'm boring. And it's because I'm trying to do well with being a YouTuber and a content creator. Don't be like me. Try to find a balance. <laughs> me, it's really hard to find a balance, honestly. But I'm really pushing hard because I don't have a family now. I don't have a husband or kids that I have to worry about. Just my sisters that live with me and they are grown ups. So they can pretty much take care of themselves. <laughs> but I'm just hustling now, you know, building my brand because I know that there will come a time that I will have to slow down a bit. And I do everything myself, like my filming, my editing, my everything. So I'm guessing that a point will come where I'll have to outsource it to someone to be doing it for me. 
see it's just god <laughs> that's all i can say for that question not a question i just want to appreciate how humble and loving you are thank you cindy apollo this is one girl like ah, there are people on the internet that don't know me from adam but they support me like their own family like i'm a family member and this girl right here is one of them like i don't know her, know her but like i see her everywhere on instagram on youtube like she's did you see there are people that you don't know that love you root for you not even only nigeria i get people in the us in the uk in germany china see anywhere in the world like my community here on youtube is so amazing like i feel so so blessed so freaking blessed to have the people that i have because they genuinely love and want the best for me like it's crazy i love you guys so much like really how do you cope with people bothering you with the marriage question love you love you too mama Honestly, guys, every time this is all I hear. Marry? When will you marry? When will you marry? Will it be this year or next year? Will you be single forever? Jesus, when will you marry? When will you marry Jehovah? I got a lot of questions in that line. So let me just read out all the questions in that line and then I'll just answer it once and for all. Are you seeing someone? Do you feel pressure to get married? Would you mind your parents setting you up with a guy? I actually wouldn't, you guys. Like, as long as it's someone that has head. Mm -hmm. Are you in a relationship? How do you cope with the marriage questions, seeing as you're almost 30? First of all, I'm not almost 30. God, why is everybody trying to push this 30 down my throat? I am 28. Allow me to even enter 29 before we push 30. But on a serious note, though, like, it doesn't even bother me anymore because I know that it's out of love. They want me to marry, they want me to have kids but it can be really annoying like can you guys ask me how my business is going am i getting to billionaire mark because who wants to be a billionaire now yeah i feel like all everybody wants to know is marriage marriage are you getting who's your boyfriend this is that i literally don't even think about it anymore like god's time is the best god is preparing my own man and at the right time he's going to reveal that man to me god's ways are now our ways his plans are now our plans i'll be planning that ah this is the guy but god says he's not the guy what would i do so yeah when people ask me i do have a boyfriend why don't we see him i'm not i've never even like way back when before youtube before instagram like even as of bbm days i wasn't that girl that used to flaunt the relationships i'm in I, I never used to post my boyfriend's pictures or all that like i don't know i just feel like some things are supposed to be private and okay for example now this youtube that i'm doing in the in the three years that i've been on youtube i've been in two relationships so just imagine that the first relationship i brought him oh my god you guys it's my boyfriend boyfriend tag hashtag couple goals then we now broke up i would have to come here and explain to you guys we broke up this is the reason why because i've already brought him to show you guys so if we're no more together i have to explain to you guys why we are not together anymore i like that i go through my things in private i, I deal with everything in private <laughs> but definitely when i'm engaged getting married married people definitely see me just pray for me pray that god at the right time will reveal my husband to me but for right now your girl is hustling trying to make that paper you know what state or tribe is your mama my mom is Ijo from delta states my dad is also Ijo from delta states yes. if you weren't a makeup artist what else would you be doing so guys a little story time i actually studied estate management at the university of nigeria enigo campus and that was a five years course and i remember during my fourth year we had to go on six months internship and i remember when i was in that office i used to be depressed man like in the beginning i was so psyched i'm going to be a working class girl i would do my makeup be my face wear something nice look cute go to work at the point i just stopped doing makeup i stopped caring how i looked like i didn't even care anymore because <laughs> it wasn't fun i hated it man. and i remember sitting in that office thinking god is this going to be what i'll be doing for the rest of my life because that was the plan like to practice estate management <laughs> but i wasn't enjoying it i just knew that this wasn't what i wanted and funny enough it was during that period that i discovered what youtube was 
discovered Peak Meal, Beauty by JJ, Jackie Aina, Nikki Tutorials. Like that was when I discovered YouTube and it really helped me that period. Like, because most times there's no work, so I would just sit there and be watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I always knew that I wanted a job that I could have my own time, I could be my own boss. I could walk from home. I did not know that YouTube was in the picture then. I didn't know that me being a makeup artist was in the picture then. So, like, God just... Everything just fell into pleasant places and just gave me the dream job that was just perfectly made for me. Like, this is the best job I could have ever asked for. So I really thank God for that. When you are getting married, would you do your own makeup or have someone do it for you? Guys... Hmm. I used to say I would do my makeup myself because people don't really get my face, especially my brows, the way I want. But, or more, I've spent so much time around brides and weddings that I know how weddings can be. I know how tense and nervous that brides can be on their wedding day. And me, on a normal day, I'm a crybaby. I'm, I'm, I easily get nervous, like nervous like panic attacks like i'm a warrior so i can just imagine if something goes wrong i'll start panicking and crying and i won't be able to do my makeup ha hey god so <laughs> i don't know yet so maybe that day will come and i'll change my mind but for right now i think that someone else is going to have to do my makeup but those brides that we pray against i feel like i'm going to be that bride you know how they say a makeup artist will make the worst client i feel honestly feel like that's going to be me because i would want to do a trial before that day like mm -mm, it's not that day i want to see how i look i'm going to do a trial see how my hair is going to be my makeup before i choose who's going to do my makeup <laughs> so yeah someone asked in what year did you start and in what year did you become popular? I, I learned makeup in 2014. So that 2014, 2015, I wasn't really like, that was like the training period for me. And I, I wasn't really, I didn't think makeup was going to be a career at that point in time. So like I was just learning, practicing on myself, on my sisters, on my friends in school. But when I decided that, but when I decided that I wanted to do makeup, like professionally, it was 2016. My mom got me a makeup studio. That was when I, I started. And then I started YouTube in 2017. So I feel like on the makeup front and on the YouTube front, it was 2017. Like 2017 was the year that people started to really know who I was. Like that was when I became out there. I think 2017 was the year that I became out there. How did you become so famous? <laughs> I really don't know how to answer that question. I just feel like I was consistent. Like I was I was I was even more consistent then than I am now, <laughs> honestly. So I feel like consistency and of course putting God first, like like 2017 was when I was like, ah God, Baba God, take my life, take my heart, take my all and do with me do with me whatever you want like that was when i compared myself my career like my path my way like god lead the way because even lagos that i'm living in now i always hated lagos like i never saw myself living in lagos because lagos can be so stressful traffic and everything but for god so i put it in my heart that lagos is where you're supposed to go like i was like ah this lagos that i hate but i'm really glad that I allowed God to lead the way and to take charge and control of the path that he has set for me and I'm glad that he gave me the grace to follow the path that he had set for me. What soap do you use? I want to be as fresh as you. <laughs> I use papaya extract soap. Do you plan on visiting the US? You have some fans here. Oh, I do. You guys, do you know that like if you look at my engagement, like US is my number two most viewed country. I tried to get my visa, my US visa in December, but they denied me. Pain, pains me. Eh? Oh my God. Like I was not expecting that there was any possibility that they would deny, deny me that visa. But they did. And it annoyed me. Like it really, it really pissed me off. But I was like, I'll try again this year. Because I, I was even supposed to have a bride in the US this year. I plan to do a master class this year. Like everything, like, oh God. 
as well. I'm still gonna come to the US by God's grace, definitely. At what point did your YouTube channel start bringing you money? Hmm. I think the year I started, 2017, but yeah, that was the year my YouTube channel started bringing me money. Who is your favorite sibling? Let me guess, Dobra. Dobra is not my favorite sibling. I don't know, for some reason, everybody seems to think that she is, but she is not. People just think that because she's the one that I showed the most. And that's because we've been living together for almost two years now. Like, like so she's the one you guys get to see the most and she's very out there. She likes to be, you know, <laughs> so you have to notice her. How did you become friends with so many celebrities so fast? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. Guys, I don't think, how do I, I don't even know how to answer this question. But one thing I would say is just be yourself. Like, I feel like people are attracted to my person because I'm real, I'm myself. What I'm basically trying to say is just be yourself. And if you happen to be friends with celebrities, then like they are normal people like us. And most of the uh, and most of the celebrities that I'm friends with are down to earth people like me. They are not snobs or people who feel on top of the world like you guys, my persons, me, the celebrities. Why do people tend not to recognize or value someone's craft because it's not well known? When you start making it, everyone now wants to identify with you. Why are people like that? Honestly, guys, this is very true. It happens everywhere. <laughs> like, people didn't believe, believe in me or think I was any good until they saw that I became big. That's just life. A pope is not appreciated in his own country. Is that how it says? It's when other people start to value you. That's when they will now say, ah, so this girl is... That's what it's normal, my sister. Be your that I, I keep telling people be your biggest cheerleader, even when your friends and your family around you are not cheering you on. My sister, cheer yourself on because trust me, when you become big, they will not start famzing you. Ha, ah, that's my friend, though, my childhood friend. That's how life is. Let me let me tell you guys a story. So, when I started doing YouTube, I used to bug people a lot. BCs on WhatsApp, you know, I was singing everywhere, Facebook everywhere watch my YouTube video. So anytime I uploaded the video, I would send a BC or WhatsApp. So there's this girl I went to uni with and I remember one day my girl legit told me, Sandra, it's okay. We have heard. Stop sending me all these BCs. Blah, blah, blah. Like when I saw that message, I was so heartbroken. Like I couldn't believe that this was, this person that was supposed to be my friend, this person telling me this, telling, sending me this message like I've been bugging her, she doesn't want to be bothered anymore with all these my BCs. I felt so bad. I think that was the last time I ever sent a BC. That thing really, I'm very emotional, like things really get to me. So it really hurts me. But when I became popular, hey, I'm so proud of you. I always knew you could do it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Excuse you? So my darling, cheer yourself on. That's just life. There's no reason for it, but that's just how life is. Are you going to be Big Brother Niger this year? <laughs> nope. I'm not about to get disappointed again like last year. Are your parents separated or divorced? I noticed they don't live together. Yes, my parents are divorced. I don't know, I've always been shying away from this thing. I, I'm forever seeing things in my comment section about these questions, but let me just answer it today so that you guys can stop asking me. <laughs> yes, my parents are divorced. They've been divorced for a couple of years now. That's why you guys don't really see my dad in my videos. Even if my dad was in this house, you guys would not see him because he's not, it's not like my, my mom is very out there she's not camera shy my dad is very my dad is an introvert so you would not see me in my videos but yeah so that's about that is how did you feel when your parents were going through a divorce and what advice would you give to anyone going through that as a child honestly guys whether you're a child whether you are an adult it still feels the same way it, it really hurts. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't know how to answer this question. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, but just see it this way. Your parents have lived their lives. And as much as we try to put our parents on a pedestal, the truth is that they are human beings. 
like us, they have to be happy. And if they chose to separate, means that that's the best decision for them. And yes, it does affect the children. I'm sure most parents don't even realize how much it, it affects the children. But you just have to try to live your own life find what makes you happy try to find your purpose in life just throw all you can into making yourself a better person and the thing with this thing is it makes you learn from your parents mistakes it will help you to be a better wife or husband or father or mother your hairs are always beautiful do you mind recommending some with some stores where i can get quality hairs from at affordable prices and do you think being a successful mue has affected your love life i love your works by the way thank you most of the brands that you see me talk about they're actually good like i've gotten some brands that wanted to work with me and they sent the hair and it's crap like i never review hairs that are crap once i see that it's crap i'll tell you straight up and even some that i've noticed in the long run that is crap i delete it from my channel I delete those videos from my channel so no one goes and gets it. This hair I'm wearing is beautiful. It's from Diva's Wigs. Eunice hair is amazing. Ali Pearl. Those are the only ones coming to my mind right now. But if you go through my channel, you see a couple that are really nice. It hasn't affected my love life. <laughs> if it's affecting my love life, then I know that that person is not the right person for me because I wouldn't want a situation whereby I get married and my husband will now tell me I shouldn't be a makeup artist anymore or a YouTuber anymore. What? Uh, excuse you? These are things that, see, marriage is for better or for worse. You have to be with someone who understands you and like if you're seeing it before we get married, when we get married, you can now want to now change my life this is why you don't rush into marriage you need to know who you are with you can't know the person 100 percent but to an extent you need to know what kind of man you are settling with that's why you date like you date before you even decide to go into a relationship with a guy so you know the kind of person that this man is for example there was a guy i was dating and i it was a saturday like there are some saturdays that i legit leave my house by like 4 a.m and i'm not back till like 12. so this was a day that i left my house at 3 a.m i left my house at 3 a.m and i i was done working by like 9 so i went to a restaurant to get food like at about that past nine past nine to ten like that was that was my first meal of the day like a meal like i was starving and i went in to get food and the guy called me and asked me where i was blah 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 and i told him i was getting food he was like what what did he say my god the point he was trying to make was why can't i go home and cook why, why am i buying food from outside like if you're not nigerian most nigerian men feel women who don't cook at home who buy food from outside are lazy like a woman is supposed to cook all like a woman is supposed to be very domestic i don't know how to explain it to you but like nigerian men carry it on their heads like they carry it on their head and put undue pressure on women so because i am a woman i've had a very long day because i have to prove that i'm an ideal woman i should not buy food that eat outside i should go home and cook this kind of man eh, when you marry him if you like come back <laughs> very tired he doesn't even want to know he will not even want to help out if you're a makeup artist you know what i mean like you just have to marry an understanding man I don't feel like it's supposed to affect your relationship but at the same time definitely when i'm in a relationship i i have to make time for who i'm with definitely so i'm not saying because i'm successful i'm busy i won't make my, i won't make time for my man definitely i would have you always had clear skin if not please tell us about your skin journey i get a lot of questions about skincare i'm definitely going to do a skincare video one of these days when i get around to it but i haven't actually been someone who has had acne prone skin and i still suffer from a little bit of hyperpigmentation around my eyes and around my mouth but yeah i will do a video very soon hello laifa are you close to abk as you are with Dobra. So Ibike is my Emily younger sister. I think I'm actually closer to Dobra. I feel like the reason why is because Ibike did not go to the same secondary school with me. I went to the same secondary school with Dobra and SA and at the time she wasn't even in Nigeria. Like we weren't together most of the time. Like when we were like kids we were together but you know 
when you are kids, all you do is fight. So we used to fight a lot then. So like when we're growing up into teenagers, adults, we haven't really spent as much time together. But this lockdown has been really good because like this is like the longest we've been together <laughs> for a long period of time and it's, it's helped us to bond. So that's been really amazing. How do you choose your friends? I guess you just have to trust your instincts. I trust my instincts. My instincts are never wrong. Like even when I go against how I'm feeling and I go ahead, I always end up regretting it. So I always trust how I feel. Like there are people that when you meet them, you just know that this person were in sync. And there's some people that like, you just your mind just tell you to run the other way. <laughs> Listen to your mind. Would you ever move out of the country? to another country or continent so when i was younger i used to say i can never even as far back as like three years ago i used to say i can't live outside nigeria <laughs> oh my god but i don't know now if god decides that i'm supposed to move out of nigeria so be it like i'm not opposed to it anymore it's scary and I know that when I move I will definitely adapt I've only been outside Nigeria one time and that was two years ago and I'd never experienced racism in my life so when I experienced it it was really shocking to me like when you when you read the news you watch movies and you see how black people suffer racism outside outside the country you don't really get it on the same level until you experience it when i experienced that i just put myself in the shoes of black people who have actually had to grow up like this like from when they were little to adulthood they've been experiencing it all their life and i'm like i don't know like they are really strong people and it's really sad that in the year 2020 racism is still a thing when i saw the story of the black guy that the policeman choked him with his knee like actually choked him to death kneeling on his neck like that video like, i couldn't watch that video it was really heart-wrenching so that's really scary when i think of living outside the country having to deal with all that on a regular basis but i'm no longer opposed to it if that's where god wants me to be he will never give me more than i can handle so i got a little mark on my face and i hate it how did you cope with yours growing up i really need to do this travel map video like really <laughs> when i started loving myself and accepting myself and knowing my self-worth my value it, it just it just seemed like that love that i had for myself was exuding on the outside and it was making people around me see me the way i see myself i don't know if that makes any sense but like that's really what happened with me like when i used to be all timid and all shy oh my chevron marks i need to hide myself like the way i was when i was younger there's no way i'll be sitting in front of the camera with my chevron marks face showing the whole world what but like when i started to love myself like it just made me more confident that like when you see me hype myself i'm a beautiful woman like no one hypes me better than i hype myself and people see it and be like what's wrong with this one leave it my brothers and sisters that's not pride that's just a woman who has grown to love and accept and be confident in the woman that she has grown to be so sweethearts carry your head up high be proud, be confident, rock your tribal marks with all the pride in the world. You have a little mark, just a little. Sweetheart, I have one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> I oh sweethearts, carry your shoulders. Hi man, don't let anyone make you feel like you're not beautiful because honey, you are beautiful. God said that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Do you know what that means? Please, oh Jerry, what shade of lens do you wear and what product? I love it. It looks so natural. Guys, I'm happy that I finally got this question. Like, I'm happy that I'm answering it today because some people actually want to kill me and some people act like it's one big secret that I'm hiding. I'm not hiding any secret contact lens. It's not something to be hiding. Like, I got one email, like, the email was so defensive and so angry. Like, did you ask me? I not answer you. Like, I wear the same contacts all the time. Like, 
all the contacts I have are brown. Either they are brown or they are hazel or they are grey. Like I never wear like when I'm wearing contacts, you can barely even tell I'm wearing contacts because they are not so out there they are subtle like that's the kind of contacts that i like to wear so no matter the brand like now i'm wearing brown like brown is what i wear 90 percent of the time this one is chocolate brown from shaded beauty ghana it's a ghanaian brand but they have a branch in lagos josie ivy studio so like please just ask me i'll answer <laughs> stop attacking me how has it been like spending the lockdown with your family how does it make you feel generally it has been amazing like <laughs> you can tell from all the vlogs i've been putting up that i've really been enjoying myself i wasn't supposed to come home it was just my two sisters that were coming home i was going to stay back in lagos but last minute last minute <laughs> the, the night before was when i booked my ticket to come home i was like let me just come home so that i packed that night through the next morning before i came i'm so happy i came if i had not come hey god i would have been so depressed because i would have been doing my quarantine by myself and that would have not been funny at all how were you able to raise funds for your business so i got a couple of questions like this how is being used in my brand so my first makeup box my mom got it for me and i went from there like every job i did i put it back in my business small small like people seem to think i just blew in one day like it took a while like i had been doing makeup from 2014 and it was like 2017 that i was able to afford to move to lagos i could barely even afford to move to lagos it was 2018 that i was finally able to get get a proper studio in lagos in lucky face one like it was such a big deal for me then i remember like life is just stages like you have to grow like there's joy in that growing process <laughs> whether or not you choose to believe that there's joy there are times you want to give up even till today there are times that i still want to give up that's just how entrepreneurship is there are ups and there are downs it's not rosy all the time you have to keep picking yourself up and keep going because if you don't keep going you don't get imagine if i stopped along the way would i have gotten to where i am now no so i just kept putting every money i made back into the business like i didn't always used to buy nas mark this there was a time that i could not afford all that even ordinary miriki was a struggle how much was miriki miriki was was it 3k i can't remember 3k foundation was very hard to afford then so life is in stages my brothers and sisters why are you so meek i love your personality thank you the bible says the meek shall inherit the earth so be meek and be humble that's all i have to say for that so someone asked what my mom does for a living so my mom is an estate surveyor valor so yes that's that's why i studied estate management i remember i wanted to study medicine but they didn't give me medicine they gave me microbiology my mom was like what's microbiology what's that <laughs> Come on, go and write this thing again and apply to study estate management. That's a professional course. Microbiology is not a professional course. So that's why I carried myself and took five years of my life and studied estate management that I'm not using to do anything today. <laughs> so yeah, that's what mom does for a living. So someone asked what editing software I use for my pictures and videos so this is going to be the last question i'll answer because at this point i'm sure this video is already like 30 minutes long and i'm sorry i can't answer all the questions i'm sorry if i didn't answer your question so i use final cut pro for my videos and i use photoshop adobe photoshop for my pictures so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and you got to know me a little better if you still have some more questions for me you can actually leave it in the comment section below and i would respond in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching my video i love you guys so much if you like my video share subscribe it helps my channel to do well so that all my hard work will not be in vain. Look at, look at the time. One a.m. I will now go and clean all this makeup, shower, and go to bed. So please help me. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.